CMD Boxing Reports. This is Ronell Higg reporting here, and I ain't back at it for the boxing fanatics. So, damn. All right, so let's talk about it, right? Now, how will Mikey Garcia defeat Earl Spence? Now, don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying he's going to win. All right. At first, you know, I was picking Mikey Garcia, but that was because of personal reasons. You know, I kept like seeing on Instagram all these Earl Spence fans. He's invincible. He's the best. You know, can't nothing harm him. This, you know, this, that, and the third. So y'all know how it is. You know, with the fanboys, like once their favorite man lose, you got to go back and see what excuse they had for him losing. Right. So that's what, you know, that was mostly all about. However, I still give Mikey Garcia a chance, although I'm give, I'm going with, you know, my man's Earl Spence. But the question is, how will he beat Earl Spence? Now, I've seen my man's uh, H money and he was saying that the best way to, for Mikey Garcia to win is to fight like Mayweather did against Canelo Alvarez and that stay in the pocket. I can't see that for Mikey Garcia because if he stays in the pocket against Spence, he's actually fighting Spence's fight, right? And that's going to give Spence, you know, a lot, a whole lot of like leverage to move in and, you know, do his things, hit him in the body, hit him in the head. And you know, Mikey Garcia, he bruises easily, right? So, the only way I can see it, and that's if, like, I can see him winning, and that's if he fights like Mayweather did against Diego Corrales. Y'all remember that fight? Mayweather, he was going in and out, uh, hitting Mike, uh, hitting Corrales in the body and moving back, all right? Moving up, hitting Corrales and moving back. He was in and out all night, all right, until he weakened Corrales. And the way Oscar De La Hoya did with Trinidad in the first half of the fight. Oscar De La Hoya moved in, dropped some quick combinations, and moved back out. As Trinidad was coming up, De La Hoya timed him, moved in, dropped some quick combinations, and moved out. Okay? Now, I understand that Mikey Garcia, all right, he said that Earl Spence has some pretty good footwork, meaning that Earl Spence could cut off the ring. Now, the only thing that, that Mikey Garcia has to do whenever uh, Spence is cutting him off is grab and hold, okay? And wait for the ref to come break him up. And then he could just escape, all right? Do it like that. So he can move in and move out. Move in, drop his, his combinations, do his work, whatever, and move out. Now, Earl Spence, he's that type of dude who sometimes like to trade with you, all right? Like, if he knows that he's not landing or, you know, he's not throwing enough, he'll start trading, like right? Something like a Miguel Cotto, like he did back in the day. He'll, he'll punch right along with his opponent. Pretty good stuff. Now, I've seen a video with, um, what was his name? Oh, man, Ballhead Boy. Man, that's what's getting 40. It does it. Timothy Bradley. Okay, all right. When he said that Earl Spence doesn't move his head, all right. Now he said that because Mikey Garcia said he's seen something in Earl Spence. We all, we all know this. Now, of course, we know Mikey Garcia. Like now, he picks fighters that you know whose weaknesses are exposed. Like fighters he knows he has an advantage over. Like with, you know, Adrian Broner and Robert Easter Jr. Okay, he fought those two, but he wouldn't fight uh, Basilio Machenko and the man Terrence Bud Crawford, right? You know, a study fighting Basilio Machenko, he's, you know, I'm going to move up and take on Earl Spence, all right? A lot of people, you know, they got uh, hype when they heard that. But like I said, you know, he takes on somebody he know he can beat. Someone who knows he could take advantage of them, of their weaknesses, right? Now... Back to what Earl Spence's like defense and everything, or what Timothy Bradley has said. Earl Spence had countered and said, "Well, you never see me with the bruised uh, face. You never see me with the black eye or a cut." Okay, good. But let me just note one thing: 
you has people who don't bruise easily. And the reason why is because their collagen in their skin is it's pretty healthy, it's thick. For those who do bruise easily and do cut easily, the collagen in their skin is thin, okay? It's very weak. So that causes them to get swollen faces, black eyes, all right? Now, we all seen Earl Spence's fight. We all seen Earl Spence getting tagged, okay? Earl Spence does not move his head, and Earl Spence, his defense isn't 100%, okay? Like people think it is. If you just watch his fights, you'll you know see what I'm talking about, right? No, he don't bruise easily. No, he don't have uh, swollen eyes or whatnot during a fight or cuts, because like I said, the collagen under his skin is pretty thick. The boy got, you know, thick skin, all right? Look it up for yourself, you'll see. So, Anyways, man, I'm, you know, going with Earl Spence in this fight. However, I do give Mikey Garcia a chance to pull off an upset. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. And that's my take on this. This is CMD Boxing Reports, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.